and now we have a treat in store for us. Martin the Live Wire is going to do a couple of acts for us. He is a socio-politically conscious hip-hop lyricist from Nottingham. As a vegan and animal rights activist, most of his lyrical content aims to bring awareness of animal and human rights. It's over to Martin, thank you. Hi, Hi nice one. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, like I say, uh, yeah, I've been vegan for eight years now, yeah, so today yeah, it was proper inspiring, so nice one to ever organise this year, because it was wicked. Um, this first one I'm going to do, yeah, is called Don't Make Your Body a Graveyard. I'm just going to get into this, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like the government protects vivisection Activists arrested for protesting Animal testing, vivisection is flawed Testing for cures for cancers on rats This hypocrisy is ignored and intentions corrupt When they find 50 cures on rats but not work on us yeah. Experiments and monkeys have been right So in shorts, they should be caught to the necks Imagine if it was us, so a rat to we stop these torturous tests until they shut down Oxford labs and hate less Until all life forms are sentient Feelings and intelligence are treated with respect and Reverence. I stop eating burgers cause meat is murder This vegan verbal demon rap to beat this murder In factory farm it's reality's alarming Ourselves animals and environment we're harming Producing meat cause there's more carbon dioxide Than the world's transport combined Uses more land, more water and more resources And growing plants for food can you afford to ignore this? Swallow fast food chains, clog your arteries and veins Think about the poor animals, short lives in pain If you care about yourselves, animals and the planet, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. If you want to aid life, then kick the meat habit, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. If you care about yourself, sign it all, send the planet, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. If you want to aid life, then kick the meat habit, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. They kill 4 million cows, 9 million pigs, 50 million sheep, 900 million chickens a year. They killed from me to me. UK demand and selling pork from overseas. Even the United Nations admit that overgrazing is causing deforestation, impact is death. Devastating. And the fur trade skin animals alive is evil for it to be a full of animals but ugly on people. So from intensive farms to the abattoirs, animals and farms live a short life of torture and harm. After a short life of being mistreated and abused, they arrive to the slaughterhouse, frightened and confused, beaten and shattered at if they don't go easily, rushed by the workers and put unconscious feebly. And if you're not stunned properly, they awake when they're put to death, hanging upside down with shackles, chained round their legs. And if a lifetime of torture and abuse were enough, then the last thing they see is the throats being cut. If you care about yourselves, animals in the planet, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. If you want to aid life, then kick the meat habit, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. If you care about yourselves, animals in the planet, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. If you want to aid life, then kick the meat habit, yo, don't make your body a graveyard. <laughs> Nice one. Well, this next one, right, it's about um, basically someone who'd be here today who'd, on, who'd died fighting for farmed animals. A lot of you will know who I'm talking about. So it's really good to see the Jill Phipps banner out today, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, all right. So this one is called Jill Song. Okay. <laughs> On February the 1st, 1995, 33 protesters went to Coventry Airlines to save lives of baby calves destined for field flights. Jill Phipps and nine others broke through police lines and put their lives on the line to put an end to the torture of innocent baby calves destined for slaughter. But despite the fact that protesters occupied the path, police seemed determined to keep the lorries moving. And because of this act, we lost a beautiful soul. Jill Phipps, taken from us only 31 years old, a dedicated activist, brave and compassionate, an advocate for animals, her loss was a tragedy. And even though Jill's gone, her memory lives on. What she lived and fought for will never be forgot. And so we still fight the fight that Jill fought, and we still ride right through the lies that Jill saw. And we see that at oh, sorry. And we see that every life is rights, freedom for all. That's why Jill's life still inspires us all. So we still fight the fight that Jill fought, and we see right through the lies like Jill saw. And see that every life is rights, freedom for all. That's why Jill's life still inspires us all. 
Yeah. 